Hi everyone, we're Team Real Estate. I'm Justin. I'm Eric. I'm Eric Yang. I'm Jeff. And together we are aiming to apply data science to the world of real estate investing and developing. And I'll pass it on to Eric to go into more detail about what our project really entails. So our project will be a web development app that is aimed for real estate investors and developers to have a better idea of where to invest in the US. And our program aims to provide informative suggestions to these individuals so that you know, in the near future, they'll be able to make profit in the real estate market. And so moving on to some user interface and requirements issues that we'll be bringing up. Uh, so overall, we want to focus on accessibility, customization, and easy to understand data analysis. And this is just an initial screen that we want to go over and show you. Uh, we'll have some features including price range, property type, development status, and this is just a visual visualization of what the uh, actual project might look like. So some technical components that would go into this project would first we need to have a large amount of data in order to train machine learning algorithms in order to provide useful data for real estate developers and investors to really look on and analyze. So first of all, we would try creating a data feed using historical pricing and mortgage data, finding data sets on any data sets or scraping websites online in order to grab this data. In addition, we would have trained machine learning algorithms to use this data to predict future housing prices as well as give other in useful information uh, for our customers. And some techniques that we can use within machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence is a decision-based ad engine with tuned parameters that we will use based on our data in order to parse different opportunities as uh, their cost as well as their different benefits. In order to connect this all together and to serve this to our customers, the first thing is to create a REST API in order to serve this data to our front end. So this would, whenever an algorithm would create a different result, it would probably be stored in a database and be served to the front end interface, which I will discuss in the next slide, which is our technical architecture. So this is a kind of very typical full stack architecture for any website that we will also follow. So the most important part is our data analysis. The first most important part of our architecture is really grabbing all the data that is needed. Uh, in our initial search for data that's really, um, related to different mortgage prices and real estate, um, real estate prices, historical and current, we found Zillow has a really nice data set made for machine learning research, as well as hosted on Kaggle UCLA has posted historical data based on mortgages and rent prices, which will be really useful when plugged into our machine learning algorithms. So in terms of machine learning, we'll probably be using uh, the language Python, but using specifically the libraries TensorFlow, Scikit-Learn, and NumPy, which are very standard libraries that are used uh, in a machine learning stack. So to serve this data to the front end, we need a backend. So this is pretty standard as well. We would use a Python REST API, which is hosted on an instance in AWS Elastic Beanstalk in a Docker container. And in terms of reach goal, we are thinking of putting it on Jenkins for continuous integration, so to make sure that there's automated testing and there's scalability to our product, as well as Kubernetes to create a configuration uh, for when we want to expand. On the front end, there, uh, it's probably going to be on React, which entails JavaScript and ES6, HTML5, CSS3, and Webpack. And in order to be cross-platform, as a reach goal, we were thinking of using React Native to port these to mobile devices and Electron for desktop apps. So now I'll pass it on to Justin, who will speak more about our kind of schedule on what we are working on. Cool. So just to wrap things up, uh, this is a uh, visualization of what we plan to, as a team, work on across the next few weeks. The first step for the next week is going to be going to those data sets and data sources that Eric mentioned across things like Zillow, UCLA, and whatever else we can find, and really establishing that data feed so that we can have the data established and set up our GitHub repository to get the project started. The week after that, we want to really look into uh, what exactly the data that we have entails and clean the data in order to uh, set it up properly to eventually, in the next couple weeks, uh, train those ML algorithms that we want to use and the models that we want to use. Uh, and ultimately uh, build all of our application out with the decision engine as well as the front end uh, of the application so that you know, weeks after this uh, and more towards the end of the semester, we can have a presentable product that connects both the front and back end uh, and leverages all the uh, data science and ML applications that we've learned across the class. Thank you so much.